what do you say we try out our 11 rack with our Microsoft Surface Pro 3? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I think the first thing I'll do is install the 11 rack editor, the standalone 11 rack editor. So let's go ahead and pop in here. And I've already downloaded the 11 rack editor here. Also, we've already uh, installed QuickTime as well. So make sure you have QuickTime installed because you will, you will need that, all right? Let's go ahead and install our 11 rack editor first. But actually, before we do that, we need to install the driver, don't we? So let's go ahead and install this driver. And we'll just step through all of our prompts here. And I'll get this installed. Okay, so that is done. Click finish there. Now let's go ahead and install our 11 rack standalone editor. We'll try this out and install it. See if it works here on our surface. All right, so now we need to reboot. So we'll just click yes here. And we'll go ahead and just go through this and we'll restart. Okay, so now after that reboot, now it's wanting to finish the installation of the uh, 11 rack editor. So we'll go through that. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so there we go. We are done. Click finish there. And right up here, we can see 11 rack editor. Now, you know, we're going to need to plug in our 11 rack first. Okay, so here is the USB cable for our 11 rack. Now, the Surface only has one USB port on it, and it's USB 3. And that might actually cause an issue with the 11 rack on USB 3 on Windows. Not quite sure if this is going to work. Um, later on, we're going to try it with the dock. We're not going to open Pro Tools right now. You know, if we we're going to open Pro Tools, of course, we would need to have a USB hub or something because we'd need to use an iLock. So let's go and plug that in. Down here, the device driver software is installing. So just wait a couple seconds. Okay, so that is done. Let's go ahead and open up our 11 rack editor first here. Let's see if it actually launches. Okay, there's our full screen error that we get every once in a while. Uh, that You might experience that even on a regular computer uh, the first time you launch it. But there it goes down to size, and there we go. So now we have our 11 rack editor, even with this error here. So let's close it out. Now upon the second launch, hopefully it won't do that. Okay, so now let's try to move it around. Okay, so now it's behaving properly. So of course my 11 rack is right back there. Let's see if I can use touch to change controls. Yep, I am. Hopefully you can see that right there in the presence that's moving. Let's change the base here. Yep, nice and smooth. What if we can change rigs? And there we go. So this is working. Let's try to orient our surface differently. Of course, it's kind of difficult because we have this plugged in right here. But as you can see, it you know it is working here, so that's pretty cool. Go to our effects. You know, it's, it's really actually not too bad with touch. Interface isn't too bad at all. It'd probably be even easier using the uh, surface pin here. Let's try this. Yeah, that's nice there. Distortion. All right, so that's pretty cool. Of course, we can load rigs for computer. Now, I don't have any rigs on this computer, so would anybody happen to know where I can go to download a bunch of 11 rack rigs for free? Oh, that's right. I happen to know of a place, 11 rackusersblockspotcom Let's go over here, download zone. We'll just download, say, these uh, hate rigs here. Download these real quick, and then we'll try to load them uh, into our 11 rack. So we have to uh, unzip that package first. Okay, so everything has now been unzipped, so we can use it. Didn't mean to do that. Close this. Okay, now let's try to actually load a rig right here on the surface. See, see if that works. We'll do load from computer. And let's go to our downloads folder, of course. We'll just pop in here, choose a random rig, hit open. And there we go. It loaded right up. Hopefully you can see it's on the 11 rack there as well. Okay. We can see that our 11 rack is actually working here with our USB 3 port here on our Surface Pro 3. You know, the, the touch aspect is actually not, not too bad. It's very responsive, actually, even without the pin. But of course, the pin is going to help with some things, probably, I'd imagine. So now for another quick test with our 11 rack here, we'll open up Pro Tools, which we installed in a different video, and uh, see how that works with our 11 rack, just real quick. Now, of course, to run Pro Tools, we're going to have to use our iLock, and that does present us with a problem because we only have one USB port on our Surface. So we'll need to use a hub, or in my case, I'll use the Surface Dock, which gives us many more USB ports here on the back. 
We can just set this up really quick here. Boom. That's pretty much it. Make sure we plug it in, of course. And while I'm at it, I think I'll just uh, attach the touch cover here. So I'm going to actually unplug our 11 rack from the surface. We're going to plug this in on the back here in one of these USB 2.0 ports. And then we'll put our eye lock either in the back or on the side. It really doesn't matter. There we go. Now we can actually launch Pro Tools. And there we go. So let's quickly create some tracks. Control Shift N. I want to check our inputs, see what we're able to get. Okay, so we have guitar in, we have 11 rigged. All right, so this looks like it's going to work just fine. Let's go to the interface and there we go. Of course, we have our mini window over here, right there, where we can switch our rigs and whatever. Of course, let's see if we can bring up our editor by clicking this button. Yeah, we can. Go to change a rig. That all works fine. Okay, so this seems to be working pretty well. Let's see if I can, yep. Use touch in here. I don't know if I can use it on this mini window very well. It's not too bad. Much better here in the editor, of course. Okay, so I guess the only other thing we need to do is see if we can actually, you know, record just a little bit. Okay, so now I have my guitar. Let's uh, bring up the editor again. Come here. Let's uh, load from computer again. Let's go for, oh, that one looks okay. Open that. Yep, loads up here, loads up on the 11 rack there. Now we'll need to arm a track, of course. We're using the pin here. Uh, we'll go for a stereo track, just for fun. Arm this track. Now. Okay, way too loud. Let's see if I can turn it down. Yeah, turn down there. It's not really responding here on the screen, but it's definitely working over there. Might be having a graphics issue. All right, so pretty cool, it's working there. Now, of course, we need to actually see if we can uh, actually record. Let me bring up my editor here. Let's see if I can use the volume here a little bit easier. Oh yeah, that's much better there. Try that. So we already have our track armed there, and we'll just hit back to the beginning. Just record, see if we can actually record here. All right, so of course I don't have that turned up very loud, but look at that, we actually recorded here with our 11 rack. Okay, so the moment of truth is, can we play it back? Because if you, recording is one thing, but you got to be able to play back, right? So we'll play. And there we go. All right, so that works. All right, so there we go. That is the 11 rack with uh, Surface Pro. Three, it's not too bad. Performance isn't awesome, which you shouldn't expect. Um, you know, for a few reasons, we got an i5 in here, uh, only one hard drive, of course. We may try some things out with the SD card at some other point, just to see if that works. Um, but not bad. Definitely usable, and of course, you know, even more usable if we if we don't have to have it in the dock. If you're using, say, the 11 rack in a standalone situation, it might be kind of cool to have it plugged up to a surface to just have your graphical user interface to uh, be able to go back and forth from, say, the front panel to the interface there. And, of course, to actually be able to load rigs because you have to have an editor to actually load rigs or save rigs for that matter. You can't do that standalone. Okay, so that's about all for this quick test. It did work. Yeah, I kind of like to see if we can do this in uh, the other mode, but of course it's in the dock and it's plugged in. So not ideal for Pro Tools, of course, pull that off. We can see that even with Pro Tools open and the 11 rack and the dock connected, it uh, goes up here between horizontal and vertical. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's enough about this for now. We'll have more 
surface videos with the 11 rack hopefully in the future so be sure to subscribe there pretty cool that it works works okay not the greatest thing in the world but it does work uh definitely works well for standalone though as you can see this is actually very easy to control with touch the 11 rack editor is works very well actually with touch works much better than pro tools does with touch that's for sure but this has been the 11 rack used in standalone and used within pro tools here on our surface pro 3.